Hello, I'm Dwayne Wessner and welcome to our two-part series on Nutanix files, on Nutanix cloud clusters, on Azure. Part one today is going through an overview of the solution for Nutanix cloud cluster on Azure. And then part two will be the deployment. So let's get into the overview. With the advent of Nutanix Files 4.3, we're able to deploy into a Nutanix Virtual Private Cloud VPC, which could be on-prem or in Azure. In Azure, the main difference is this Flow Gateway Virtual Machine, which provides north and southbound connectivity uh, for our resources in uh, Nutanix VPC. The Nutanix Files deployment uh, requires client and storage uh, subnets, which we have listed here. We also have another subnet VDI. It could be storage. It could be really anything that's not really a part of the deployment uh, process. So we see the different IPs, which our uh, file server VMs have. We also have this VIP for the storage network. Um, inside of Azure, this VIP will also um, gain a floating IP from the Flow Gateway VM. The floating IP is really a native Azure IP, which will then NAT traffic. And so if you have resources that need internal access, like our Prism Central, uh, which is deployed in a highly available configuration, um, it can assign with this uh, Azure IP to our VIP, and then we can gain access that way. It's important to note there is a uh, network security groups on this Flow Gateway virtual machine that you'll have to adjust for access. The other interesting part for files on NC2 Azure is the storage network it uses direct attached. Uh, On-prem we're using iSCSI volume, so uh, it makes the networking requirements a little bit easier uh, for an Azure files deployment as well. Here we're still using a client and storage network to mirror our on-prem environment, but we could have had just one network for both client and storage because of the way Azure works. That is our overview of Nutanix files on Nutanix Cloud Cluster on Azure. Please stay tuned for part two of the deployment. See you in the next video.